So, what's up? This is Rico. And, um, Mr. Tuesday. But, um, Chanel just knocked the video out, the subject out the box yesterday. So, I'm gonna try to follow up behind this, but it's gonna be pretty hard with Chanel. But anyway, it's latent homophobia. And it's basically latent homophobia, the acceptance of black lesbians as opposed to um, the intense hatred for black gays, homosexual black gay males. What is the reason for this turn of events or this acceptance of one group of homosexuals in the black community and not the other? How do we change this problem? Will this problem ever get any better? Lord have mercy. Even though I read this when I first got it, now that I'm, Lord have mercy. But uh, anyway, here we go. Um, for some reason in the black community, as far as men are concerned, a man is supposed to be a man. And people have different definitions of what a man is supposed to be. If you're out here, I'm trying to sound like a decent person because I was getting ready to say something derogatory but if you're out here making a bunch of babies and not take care of them but you got a bunch of babies or whatever some people consider that a man um, some people consider think that if you're a black gay male and you're being penetrated it makes you less of a man um, if you're flamboyant some people can't help but be flamboyant it's just their personality but some people go way out of pocket with being flamboyant um but if you're flamboyant you're considered like less than a man you're down on a totem pole um why it's not accepted because i don't know i really don't know why um there's this big hatred towards black gay men honestly and it's not true for all black gay men i think there's from a lot of straight americans black Americans it's jealousy because this is my view this is nothing to do with anybody else on this channel this is my view um, I think it's jealousy because the black gay male no matter how flamboyant no matter how much penis they're taking up their rectum their rectal area their buttocks their bujana their manhole no matter how much you take it up there, most black gay men are more successful than straight men. And it's a hatred because these women want these black gay men and they're upset because they can't find they can't find a decent black um, a decent black straight man who is as successful as a black gay man. Now, with the lesbians, it's different because men because they in their mind they, straight men I mean it could be all black white but I'm talking about black men that's what I relate to um they have a fascination that if a well I think most men do this period not me because I'm gay as you can hear in my voice but um they have a fascination with lesbians like if something about two lesbians doing it it gets them hot and they can sit around and jack off to it and think they want to participate when God knows a lesbian, a true lesbian, is not going to let you participate in sex with her and her woman. Okay? Keep that in mind. But, I don't think it's ever going to be changed because, um, it starts at home. It's basically acceptance. You have to accept somebody for who they are. Some people do go overboard what is true, but some people can't help but be who and what they are. And if they're not, if you, if you don't start telling them, if you don't teach children to accept people for who they are, then it continues on down the line like it already has, like it started years ago. Like, if you see a gay man, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. It's not bad, it's who they are. Some people can't help who they are. Some people say something different, and that's their opinion. But we are who we are, we were put here. Uh, there is somebody upstairs. 
and when I say upstairs, I mean above the clouds or wherever you want to think this person is. There are people, there's a person up there who put us here, and they knew what we were going to be when they put us here. So, for all these people out here to hate on black gay men, I mean, hatred, gay bashing, and you could just be what, well, and then that, I mean, even though there are some black gay men who ask to be gay bashed by doing and saying and trying things with straight men, um, there are some black gay men who just mind their business and they get gay bashed for no particular reason or just because they're gay. Because they're doing better than them. It's, it, I really think it's a jealousy thing. Because I'm, I'm, really, I'm serious. Um, like I said, the majority of black gay men, they do, they end up doing well in life. Not all, because there are some nut cases out there. But the majority of them do well in life. And with the white Caucasian men, or whatever you want to call them, um, it's like their lifestyle is theirs, and we nobody's supposed to judge them. I mean, we shouldn't be judging each other. Period. Anyway, but you judge the black, you don't judge the white. How that makes sense, I don't know, but my thing is this, we are who we are, we know who we are, you can't change us. Only thing you can do is change who you are and learn to accept us. You don't have to live with us, you don't have to see what goes on in our house, you don't even have to speak to us. But we're here, and this is, I mean, if you look around, <laughs> there are people who are black and gay and male who you have no clue about. So you're sitting here talking to them about you hate this faggot over here, when in reality, you could be talking to one. And I probably shouldn't use that word because I probably get banned on YouTube for that. But anyway, but you probably shouldn't use that word because the person you're talking to, they probably they probably are a faggot. So yeah. Um, but only way it can change it has to start at home. It starts at home with the parents and the teachers and stuff like that because the hatred is learned and taught. Hatred is learned. Hatred is taught. And it builds up. If you're telling the child this is wrong, this is wrong, that's bad, don't do that, that stays with them. And they pass it on down to their children. So that's my take on it. I missed the Tuesday Rico. And um Yeah. I think that's it for now. So y'all have a good week. And stop the homophobia. Stop hating on black gay men. Because that same black gay man that you be hate, that you that you're hating on, he may have to hand you a glass of water one day. He may be sitting behind the desk the next tomorrow when you go get an interview. He may be the one to decide whether or not you're going to get unemployment. Peace.